Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll examine the Time Value of Money TVM, worksheet. It consists of five variables that we use to solve problems with equal and regular cash flows such as loans, mortgages, and leases. Besides, we'll examine each of these situations in depth throughout the lesson. N stands for the number of compounding periods. IY is the interest rate per compounding period. PV is the present value. PMT denotes annuity payment. And FV stands for future value. The logic of using these variables is straightforward. You have to input four parameters, and the calculator solves for the fifth when you press compute. This is the most important rule, so please try to remember it. Right. Are you ready? Well, that's good. But before we can start working on financial problems, we must choose what cash flow mode that we'll be using in this lesson. There are two options, BGN, which stands for Beginning of Period Payments, and END mode, in which payments occur at the end of each payment period. This mode is appropriate for ordinary annuities, such as loans and mortgages. By default, the calculator uses the END mode. So, we don't have to change it if we are going to examine the cash flows which occur at the end of a given period. When payments occur at the beginning of each payment period, which is standard for annuities due, such as most leases, we must switch the calculator to BGN mode. Fortunately, the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus makes toggling between the two modes an easy task. We press second, BGN, second, set, second, quit. If you have executed this sequence correctly, you will see a small sign that shows up in the upper right-hand corner of the display. If the calculator is in END mode, there's no indication of it on the display, because this is its default mode. All right, I believe we are ready to perform a few calculations. Would you agree? Here's the first task. John invests in a security paying $1,000 at the end of each year for a total of five years. The investment earns a 5% annual rate of return. Besides, John would like to calculate the present value of this security. Okay, let's see. The payments occur at the end of each year, so we need to use the END mode. When you solve TVM problems, it's always a good practice to start from N, the number of periods, and then continue with the rest of the variables to the right. This method guarantees that you will not forget any of the terms needed as an input. All right. How do we enter values in the TMV worksheet? Well, that's easy. You just enter a value followed by the variable you would like to use. So, for the problem at hand, we have an investment period of five years. So, N equals five. We press five and then N. Also, we are able to assign a value to N. Then, we have the interest rate per compounding period. It's equal to 5%. Using the same rationale, we enter 5, then i slash y. The next variable is the present value, PV. It's what we need to find, so we skip it for now. The payment, PMT, equals $1,000. The future value, FV, is something that we don't know. That's why I'll opt for $0 in this case. The last step is to compute for the present value by pressing CPT followed by PV. 
The result we obtained is minus $4,329.47. Please pay attention to the negative sign. It doesn't mean we have done something wrong. It's just how the calculator works. The number is negative because it's a cash outflow. So, to purchase a security paying $1,000 per year for the next five years, John must pay $4,329 today. As a rule of thumb, make sure that you enter cash inflows with a positive and cash outflows with a negative sign. All right, now let's consider another example. Melissa decided that she would like to invest $1,000 in a financial instrument that pays $2,000 three years from now. What's the rate of return for this investment? When we start working on a new task, it's always useful to clear the TVM memory registers of the calculator by pressing second, clear TVM. Why? Well, we recommend doing this because the calculator remembers the values you have used previously, even after it has been turned off. Of course, when we enter new data, the old one is automatically overwritten. However, it's still a good practice to start with a clean slate because you might accidentally forget to overwrite a variable. Okay, as we did earlier, we'll start with the number of periods, which equals 3. The present value, PV, is minus $1,000 because it's a cash outflow for Melissa. As you remember, we can easily change the sign of any number by pressing the plus minus key. All right, there aren't any interim payments, so PMT equals zero dollars. The future value, FV, is two thousand dollars. We compute for the interest rate per year, I slash Y, to obtain 25.99%. Voila! Before we move on, let's focus on a trap we should avoid when calculating the interest rate per period. We should never input the annuity payment, future, and present values with the same sign. Let's see the results if we accidentally do that. we'll get the error message number five. What this means is that we messed up the signs of our three variables, PMT, PV, and FV. In fact, even if we switch the signs of the present and future value, we will still end up with the right answer. However, if we add them with the same sign, we wouldn't be able to obtain a result. This is a very important rule, so make sure that you remember it when solving TMV problems. Now, let's wrap up the topic with one final example. So, let's pretend that Jack invests in an annuity due, which costs him $1,000 and earns a 7% return per year. How many annual beginning of year $200 withdrawals can be made. All right, this time the payments will occur at the beginning of the year, so we must switch the cash flow mode to BGN by pressing second, BGN, second, set, second, quit. Then we simply provide the calculator with the relevant data. The interest per period is 7%. The present value is minus $1,000, while the PMT is equal to $200. The future value is unknown, so we'll press 0. And then we compute for N to obtain 5.86 years. Well done! In our next video, we will examine the cash flow worksheet. Thank you for watching.